All right, guys, we're going to get right into it, guys. Uh, things are heating up here. Things are heating up, and, it, it, you know, it looks like that they're trying to incite a war with Iran. Leaked U.S. documents. So we got this guy here, Mr. Uh, Kirby here. A lot of these characters are coming out. Um, and this guy is just the, the, the king of talking around the question and not answering the question, man. That's, that's all these people do. And... Uh, you know, he's claiming Biden's deeply concerned about the leakage of the documents. <laughs> so somebody in the U.S. government has leaked official documents of Israel's possible attack plans to Iran. And remember, I, you know, I always say this, and, and, and it's, it's, it stands to be true. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be Iran, but Russia, China, these, these players, they have deep pockets in, in the U.S. government. Okay, they have representatives in the U.S. government working for them on payroll okay believe it or not and one of which is uh an individual the governor of california that that guy's deep in trench with some of these guys um not only him but there, there's a lot of people man that you know you guys would be shocked uh so let's go ahead and get into job john kirby he says biden is deeply concerned with the leakage of the attack plans on iran Let's get into his uh, audio here. Uh, found their way into the public domain. Um, I know the Department of Defense is investigating this, uh, and I'm sure that as they work through that, um, they'll they'll try to determine uh, the the manner in which they did become public. Um, so I'm just not able to answer your question whether it was a leak or a hack uh, at this point. We'll let the investigation uh, pursue its logical course there. Uh, we're deeply concerned, and the president remains deeply concerned uh, about any leakage of classified information into the public domain. Uh, uh, that that is not supposed to happen, and it's unacceptable when it does. So he's deeply concerned about that, uh, and uh, you can rest assured that he will be actively monitoring the progress uh, of the investigative effort to figure out how this happened. Um, and obviously, uh, he'll be very interested uh, in hearing any mitigation measures and recommendations that come as a result of the investigative efforts and how to prevent it from happening again. Yeah, all right, man. This along with the situation that's actually developing today uh, where we have Russia. And for those of you guys thinking that, you know, when we hear Trump saying, oh, well, he's going to sit down. He's going to have a sit down with Putin. He's going to he's going to fix everything. He's going to he's going to negotiate a deal with him. Uh, it, it's complete bull crap. Uh, there's there was a guy, uh, one of Putin's aides who actually threatened to attack Washington today if Trump becomes president. Um, none of these guys get along, guys. It's all business in the end of the day. But we have a, a video here. So, interestingly enough, Russia, Iran, and Saudi Arabia have been conducting naval drills uh, throughout the day. And, and people are kind of looking, you know, looking at that sideways. Like, why is Saudi Arabia involved? Isn't they, aren't they an ally of the United States? But, um, and I, I, guys, I've been saying this for the longest. Uh, what they're planning on doing, and I, and I don't personally think that Iran and Israel will go to war quote-unquote had you know uh like an iran israeli war they're definitely going to get america involved and best believe they're going to tell the saudis that it will they will attack iran using their bases okay whether they like it or not and um it's going to be a situation where america will be going to war with iran via saudi arabia and they're going to somehow try to get Turkey involved in this in this war as well against Iran. If they're stu if Erdogan is stupid enough to fall into that trap, which he might be, to be honest with you guys, because see all these all these guys, whether it be now the big players like Iran and Turkey, they want to control the Middle East, right? Even the Turks, you, you know, the Turks they had an empire, they had the Ottoman Empire at one point. People forget about that; they lost the Ottoman Empire to the British. They want that back. The Persians want, you know, their empire back. They want to be able to uh, control the Middle East. And then, the, you know, the, you have the Jews who uh, would like to expand to greater Israel. 
This isn't just a Palestine Palestine situation. This is forces trying to control. Even the Russians are trying to control the Middle East. The Syria has become a Russian colony, right? So this is a, this is going to be really interesting. Where you have different people, different countries, powerhouses about to engage in a full blown war for the control of that entire region. All right. All while this is happening, Xi Jinping is drooling, foaming at the mouth. Xi Jinping is foaming at the mouth, guys. He just conducted so many different Navy drills today around Taiwan. He's sending drones. He's taking pictures. He is fo- He's waiting for all this to pop off. <laughs> and he is going to take Taiwan... And occupy it within 30 minutes. Mark my words. Once this stu- once all this pops off, within 30 minutes, Taiwan will be Chinese territory. Let's get into this video. Strike a kamikaze drone on U.S. weapons. Look at that. Russia is in talks with Iran to supply Su-35 jets, S-400 air air defense, anti-ship cruise missiles. Squadrons of Su-35s and unspecified numbers of S-400s. These are going to knock those fighter jets off their rocker man they 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 step into iranian airspace the s-400s will dis- dismantle them Thod battery old military equipment Uh, so this is just highlighting the fact that uh, there's a bunch of different players uh, when when Earth Iran gets attacked because you got to remember guys like Iran's on the border with Russia. Do you think the Russians really want a Western led uh, government or regime in Iran? Right? You guys really think that Iran is looking for that right now? After all the gains they made in Ukraine, they're gonna lose it 
on that spectrum. So Russia is definitely getting involved in this war. For everybody who thinks that Russia is going to sit quiet, they are definitely getting involved in this war, man. I'm going to cut the malarkey. And y'all wait for China. You guys wait for Xi Jinping. Because Xi Jinping has been conducting military raids for the past three days, like all over, encircling Taiwan. Xi Jinping is ready to go. And, and imagine Amer what America is going to fight four different fronts now. The Ukrainian war, the Middle Eastern war, the East Asian war to defend Japan and Taiwan. And then, and then if Kim Jong Un launches a, a, a military campaign on South Korea, get the f man, get up out of here with this man. If you guys don't go to the negotiating table and work a deal out and stop lying to everybody, instead of sending all these people over to get mutilated. You guys don't just shut the hell up and go work out a deal. Just give it up, man. Just give it up. About to get a lot of people killed for no reason. And here we have Pizeshkian. Um And these man, these people are gambling with a hundreds of millions of people's lives, hundreds of millions of people's lives. And you guys are, you know, a lot of people in the West don't even realize this shit. They're over here. They're still trying to figure out who's going to win, Trump or Kamala. Like. <laughs> Yo, we got the Iranian president um, pretty much letting them know what it is. Like, hey, we didn't build military bases around your border. Hey, we didn't sanction your country into isolation and economic devastation. Hey, we didn't starve your people of medicine. Hey, we didn't assassinate your military leaders. This is all being done to us. What did we do? We just don't want a McDonald's and a, a Chase Bank in our country. Leave us the hell alone. این ایران نیست که در کنار مرزهای شما پایگاه نظامی ساختن ایران آره سو هی تاکینگ ان فارسی گایز بات دتس دتس وات هی واز تلینگ دی یو ان لیو اس دی هل الون وی دونت وانت وی دونت یو گو تو روسیا ناو گایز بای دی وی یو گو تو روسیا یو گو تو دیز مالز ان روسیا دی هاف زیرو انی ثینگ یو اس مید یو وانت ایون فایند ایت دیر دی هاف دیر اون برندز دت دی یو نو ام that they do business with you don't find nothing there that is u.s owned and manufactured absolutely nothing and this is the map of all the u.s bases and you got thousands of u.s troops man oh god look at all these u.s bases around iran thousands of u.s troops and iran has literally said like hey we uh could l legit obliterate all all these u.s bases all of these all of them they did it last time when when they responded to uh Qasem Soleimani's uh death and they they tried not to even kill the civilians but they, there was at least like which was underreported uh, hundreds of people with traumatic brain injuries from from the ballistic missiles that were launched uh, on the I think it was the Iraqi or Syrian air base. I think it was the one in Iraq. <clears throat> and uh, Trump didn't do anything. He's like, oh shit, they're not playing. Yeah, man, it, it's it's a whole lot of talk and a whole lot of uh, real life shit going on that. Uh, and, and they're gambling with hundreds of millions of people's lives. That's the sick part about it. 